This is CNN Breaking News. All right, let's talk North Korea. The situation with North Korea getting even more tense. In just the past hour, there is a new intelligence out there that North Korea could be planning multiple missile launches at any moment. That's on top of expectations. Pyongyang plans to test fire two mobile missiles from its east coast and its neighbors are taking notice. Japan now has positioned two anti-missile batteries in the heart of Tokyo. In the meantime, South Korea officially accuses North Korea of orchestrating cyber attacks last month that crippled major banks and broadcasters. And the Pentagon is preparing for what the North might do next. So let's bring in Barbara Starr. She's at the Pentagon. Tell us more about these missile launches. Well, good morning, Carol. You know, there was a lot of thinking that the missile launches we were all waiting for, those two mobile missiles, would have happened overnight. Our time, that did not happen. Now, a waiting game on that. But U.S. officials saying there's other intelligence showing the North Koreans might be up to even more than just those two missile launches. That imagery is showing, satellite imagery, that they might be moving around other missile launchers, other types of missiles, and may be planning to have a barrage of missile firings. Oh, look, these are not going to be intercontinental. That's something that the U.S. could predict, could watch for. Shorter range type missiles, it's a tactic they've used before to have a barrage of missiles. So now the very interesting question for U.S. intelligence is, how much are the North Kore Koreans really planning to do? They are masters of deception. The U.S. has very little solid intelligence, waiting and watching. Carol? All right, Barbara Starr reporting live from the Pentagon. Now let's turn to some big overnight developments in the